Hello. Now, before I get started, I would like to explain the beginning of all the ten plagues. The plagues happened at the same time as an enormous volcanic eruption. The volcano Santorini, to be precise. This volcanic eruption sent tons and tons of ash into the air, vastly affecting the surrounding area. The ash, found in Cairo and the River Nile, had its composition tested and was proven to place the eruption to have happened between 1500 and 1650 BC whilst the plagues were said to have happened between 1400 and 1550 BC. So the timeline fits. Now for the first plague, the river turning to blood. Now for this one, there is a common algae plume called the red tide. Now this can turn any river or water source into a blood red colour. The ash from the volcanic eruption changed the pH level of the water, allowing the algae to bloom. For the second one, the plague of frogs. The algae that bloomed that made the water turn a blood red colour ended up killing all the fish because of the pH levels of the water. Now, as it's known, fish eat frogs' eggs, so with no fish there are a record number of frogs. Frogs cannot live in polluted water, so they leave the river, and there you have it, a plague of frogs. I do want to add in the fact that I did not think of all this myself, it's all off different websites and stuff, so if any of it seems a bit stupid or a bit... Uh -huh. It's not down to me, it's down to me researching the subject, which is actually my fault. Now the third and fourth plagues are lice and flies. Now the translation to this could actually be lice, fleas, gnats and midges. But let's just say, if you have a river full of dead fish, and now dead frogs because they can't survive out of water, this attracts the insects in the third and fourth plagues. Now the fifth plague is pestilence. I don't actually know what that means, so I did look it up and... Well, it came out to this being the reason. And no matter what I looked at, this is basically the most descriptive reason of it. Flies, dead frogs, dead fish. It all comes together and explained itself. So on to the next one. That is really the only explanation I got for the fifth one, and I don't know what pestilence means. So I can't help you there, and it's just such a stupid thing. Now then, the sixth plague, boils or boils and sores, depending on how you read the Bible. I don't know, okay, I got this other website. Don't blame me if it's wrong, I haven't read the Bible. The insects that are attracted by dead fish and other things then go on to bite people living in that area. The bites get infected, turning into sores. There is also certain insects that carry a certain chemical, I guess, uh, in their bite. So when they bite the people living in the area, they get boils. I didn't actually say this was going to be an interesting video, I'm just giving you the facts as they are. The seventh plague, fire and hail. Ash from the volcano, that is in the air, mixes with the water. The ash, which is very high in the air, causes the water to freeze. The ash, which is very high in the air from the volcanic eruption, mixes with the water. As the water is so high, it begins to freeze. So when it falls, it's hail and not rain. The fire can be explained by the volcanic eruption. Some chemicals released during the eruption makes the lightning look red as it passes through the air, which explains the fire in the sky. This has been scientifically proven as it's been recorded during other lightning storms nearer to the present day. The eighth plague, the plague of locusts. Locusts come when the ground is very damp. This allows them to bury their eggs in the sand. After the record amount of hail, it would make the ground wet enough for the locusts to come, bury their eggs, and then the eggs to form which explains how many came about. The ninth plague, the plague of darkness. The volcanic eruption would send an amazing amount of ash into the air that would be too thick for the sunlight to be visible through the cover. The ash would spread out for hundreds of kilometers and last for days. Now for the 10th and final plague, the plague of the firstborn. In Egypt, the firstborn was king. They would be the one to lead the family after the father dies. When food was scarce, the firstborn would be the first to eat and sometimes the only one to eat. After the locusts came and destroyed all the plantations, there was only grain left in the vaults. As hail came down, it got the remaining grain damp. The locust feces made it mouldy, so when the firstborn ate, and they were the only ones to do so because it was so scarce, therefore became the only ones to die. Each of the plagues are easily explained, but at the time, no one could. And no one could have known the reasons. Back in that time, lightning was the wrath of God. Disease was his punishment, and no one knew about nature. But looking at it now with the scientific eye, everything becomes easily explained, and easy to understand. So, that's it from me today. If you would like to express your opinions on this matter, please leave it in a comment or a video response.
Be sure to put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.